Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're joining us from. Uh, my name is Nick Harrison. I'd like to, on behalf of the Carnegie Climate Governance Initiative, welcome you to this latest webinar in our C2G Learn series. Um, for those of you not familiar with C2G, we're a time-bound foundation-funded initiative of the Carnegie Council for Ethics and International Affairs. And our mission is to catalyze the creation of effective governance for climate altering technologies such as solar radiation modification and large-scale carbon dioxide removal. So C2G is we're impartial about the potential use of these uh, approaches uh, and we simply seek to raise awareness and facilitate informed discussion around them. Now the aim of these uh, webinars, the C2G Learn series, are really to provide some basic insights into these technologies uh, and approaches and the governance challenges that they throw up uh, and allow you, the participants, to ask uh, some questions of leading international experts to find out more about them. Um, it's also worth mentioning we have accompanying campfire chats, which are informal, uh, informal events that accompany on the same topic, where we bring together diverse stakeholders to share their perspectives on the governance challenges around these. You can find more information on this on our website at 3wc2g2.net forward slash c2g learn. Um, and in today's webinar, we're exploring the topic of the introduction to the governance of solar radiation modification. So what is it? Um, why do we need to talk about its governance? And what are the governance challenges? And to help us do this, uh, I'm pleased to welcome today's speakers um, who are, I think, joined me on the screen now already. Uh, Thelma Krug, uh, Doug McMartin, and Anna Maria Hubert. Um, Thelma joins us live from Brazil. Uh, she's vice chair of the IPCC, uh, former researcher at the National Institute for Space Research in Brazil. She holds a PhD in spatial statistics and has represented Brazil in the UN climate negotiations for over 15 years. Um, Doug joins us from uh, live from the USA. He's a senior research fellow in mechanical and aerospace engineering at Cornell University. He holds a PhD in aeronautics and astronautics from MIT, and he's published widely on the topic we're addressing today, SRM. Uh, he's also provided briefings to the UN, to a testimony to the US Congress, and sit, uh, sits as a member of the US National Academies panel that are currently making recommendations on research and governance around this, uh, this approach or these approaches. Our third speaker is Anna Maria Hubert, who joins us live from Canada. Um, Anna, Anna Maria is an assistant professor in the Faculty of Law at the University of Calgary and also an associate fellow at the Institute for Science, Innovation and Society at the University of Oxford. She's published extensively on the regulation and governance of, uh, of climate engineering. And from 2015 to 2019, she was principal investigator for a geoengineering research governance project, a joint initiative between the universities of Calgary, Potsdam and Oxford. So um, the way this works is we're going to begin, first of all, with uh, some presentations from our three speakers, which are pre-recorded. So you can sit back uh, and soak up um, the, the information that Thelma and Doug and Anna Maria are going to impart. Thelma will begin by uh, telling us a little bit about what, what is SRM, uh, why it's important. Uh, then Doug will follow with an overview of uh, the approaches uh, and the science, and then Anna Maria will um, finish up with uh, talking, telling us about the current status of governance and law and some of the key governance gaps. And after that, we'll break out for, for questions, uh, and you'll have the opportunity to submit questions through the Q&A panel. I'll explain that later when we get to that stage. Uh, and then we've got around 40 minutes, hopefully, uh, for some Q&A to clarify anything that happened. So. If, you're, if this is a little over your head, don't panic. There's uh, plenty of other resources on the C2G website uh, and also many other events in the pipeline. And this webinar will also be repeated uh, later in the year. Uh, and there are many other webinars looking at in more detail at some of the issues that we'll raise in the uh, discussion today. So uh, I'd like to now ask the team if uh, you could play the videos and then uh, we'll sit back, watch the presentations and reconvene in about half an hour for Q&A with our speakers. <laughs> 